In today's video, how much body fat can you gain in just a couple of days? Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com. Welcome to today's video. We're going to discuss just how quickly you can gain body fat. And for those that are interested in nutrition, training, contest prep, anything to do with the fitness lifestyle, well click that subscribe button because that's what I'm going to give you guys on an almost daily basis. And after getting back from the largest competition in NPC history, well, it seemed like a fitting topic. So what I did was I got this question on my Instagram direct message. So if you guys are not following along on my Instagram, put it here on the screen for you, go follow along and send me questions. And then what I'll do is I'll read the question and then we can discuss it here. So for today's question, what I want to do is read it and then we'll go over it. How much fat can you actually gain in five to seven days of eating whatever you want? I dieted down with a coach following a bikini prep for a photo shoot. I finished my cut on high cardio, low calories. I'm now on vacation and spent the first five days eating a lot of food. A lot is capitalized. I've reined it in now and cut out all the shit as I felt extremely bloated and water retention is at an all time high. I wanted to ask your opinion on how much fat gain I could actually gain in this short period of time and whether you think it's a good idea for me to lose the excess pounds before starting a reverse diet. Thank you. So, man, this question probably couldn't come at a better time because what happens after a bodybuilding show, after a long period of caloric restriction is, we tend to go out and eat and once we start to eat, sometimes that can open floodgates. And so I want to address this question from a couple different perspectives. The first thing is the physiology, then we'll get into the psychology. So physiologically speaking, Man, there is some crazy stuff that can happen. I've seen competitors gain 15, 20, 30 pounds in a single weekend. Granted, those are going to be your larger men that do that. I've also seen people not gain any weight after a weekend, after going out and having a couple meals. They just get back on their plan and they're back to their routine. So, how much fat can you gain? Well, what I want to do is bring in my man, Dr. Joe Klemzeski. So, what I did was I actually sent Joe a request if he could send me a video. So I'm going to insert that here. Now, for those that aren't familiar with Dr. Joe, he's got multiple PhDs in nutrition. He's got more credentials than I care to list here, but he's basically my favorite resource, my go-to person. He's had over 400 pro card wins, over 50 pro world champions. And so this guy basically wrote the book on contest prep and has seen it all and experienced it all. And, uh, that along with his nutrition education seemed like a perfect fit. So take it away, Joe. So this person had done a contest and now she's eaten a ton of food in five days. Who hasn't done that? And, uh, is feeling pretty crappy wondering how much damage did I do? And this is an interesting concept because a lot of people underestimate exactly how fast you can gain body fat. We have been taught, and, and I'm guilty of this 15 or 20 years ago, to think sequentially. Our brains work in patterns anyway. So we think, okay, we, we will store all of this glycogen first in the liver and the muscle tissue, and there is this many hundreds of grams worth there. And then once I'm you know, at that threshold, then I'll start storing some body fat, but then you got the thermic potential of certain foods, carbs at, you know, five to 20%, protein at 30%, fat at, you know, 3%. And you start going through all of these justifications almost to say, well, I can keep eating. This is not bad. I'll, I'll, I'll start my diet Monday. But here's what people don't know. As soon as you overeat at one meal, even if you're totally depleted, you can start storing body fat. So body fat cells not only directly, and I mean directly, take fatty acids right out of the bloodstream and store them as fat, they can also take excess blood sugar as blood sugar levels rise and convert that to fat. So while the liver is storing glycogen and, and um, you know, insulin is doing its thing, storing, storing carbohydrates inside the muscle tissue as glycogen, that whole mechanism is also converting carbs into cholesterol to be stored as fat. So think of everything instead of this, this nice sequential pattern as a threshold level. Biology, almost every chemical reaction, even nerves and, and the physics of, of our bodies, 
biology work in terms of threshold theory. So as soon as you reach a certain threshold, there's a reaction. You guys have heard of things like the leucine threshold. As soon as your blood sugar gets up to a certain level, even amino acids in your bloodstream, uh, fats in your bloodstream from fat intake, you immediately go into storage mode and your body has several mechanisms to start storing in mass. So unfortunately, I mean, of course, you know, one meal, you go out after the show, you have a meal, that's, that's great. You're probably going to have some spillover. You will definitely store a little bit of body fat, but we're talking ounces that you can lose again the next day or two. You, you never would even notice. But you do a whole day of that, and it's going to take a few days to lose because now you're storing some real body fat. You do that for four or five days, and you can do a lot of damage. You know, the, the, if, if you just do the calculation, it's not even – that your basal metabolic rate may be 1800 calories and I only ate this much and, and so I have this much to go, you can store even per meal, you could eat under your daily BMR and still end up with uh, body fat stored at certain key meals and end up in a positive body fat gain for that day. So the short answer to this, is yes, you can do a lot of damage. You can store body fat virtually instantly, even after dieting, just because you ate too much of one meal. You know, we all have our stories as coaches of somebody who was even hospitalized after gaining 20, 25 pounds in a weekend just because of all of that uh, disruption to the cells, you know, retaining water and so forth. So hope that helps, guys. Again, I'm Joe Klimczewski from The Diet Doc, helping out Paul with some of his science work here. Okay, so the thing that Joe didn't really address in that video was what to do now. So you've been back from your vacation. First things first, I don't really recommend going on a vacation or planning a vacation immediately after a competition prep. It's kind of a recipe for disaster. I understand the thinking, you're gonna push really hard and then you get a break. I would at least give yourself a week or two before going on that vacation to kind of allow things to stabilize and normalize and just not risk putting on body fat really quickly. Now, what I will say in your situation, if you can get back into a routine where you're doing some cardio, you go back to your previous food plan, maybe with a few extra calories, but if you can just go back to a consistent plan where you're eating well, training, doing some cardio, what's gonna happen is a lot of that weight that you gained, you're gonna find it's fluid retention but it's certainly gonna also be a lot of body fat. What I would not recommend doing is trying to lose body fat because the body fat you gain immediately after a long diet by binging and overeating, that body fat is gonna be very stubborn and very hard to lose. Why? Because you gain the body fat in the last place it came off, which also means it's the most difficult to get off. And essentially, to see any fat loss, you're gonna to have to go back to your last place you were the toughest part of your diet, and then kick it up a notch from there. That's right, because you haven't had time to metabolically adapt. All you've basically done is just thrown a bunch of body fat on your system, and you've not come out of the prep. So I would try to get back to a baseline number where you can maintain, not necessarily trying to take off a bunch of body fat, but just find a place where you can get to. It might be heavier than you wanna be, but let that be a lesson. Understand that the next time you come out of a competition, it might not be ideal to go crazy. Now, for some people, putting on weight right away, that's the right move. Depends on your goals. There's not one way to approach this, but if psychologically it bothers you to see the scale up and have a bunch of body fat immediately post-show, there's a better way to handle it. That's with some planning coming out of the show, immediately raising up your calories, but again, not doing so in a fashion where you're eating double, triple, four or five times your current maintenance calories for days on end. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you're not 30 pounds up two days after your show.